everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a um, pretty flower design on this green glass bottle. This bottle is one that I use a lot for my videos when I'm not actually selling the item. I have already cleaned it off, washed it with soap and water, and whenever it was rubbing alcohol, it's ready to go. Brushes I'm using today are going to be two A Magic flat brushes a number 10 and a number 8 deer foot stippler and a fine liner brush by Westonia. All the paints I'm using today are folk art paints, combination of multi-surface and enamels. I'm using burnt umber, yellow ochre, thicket, Happy Green, Wicker White, and last but not least, Tea Berry. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin with the number 10 brush. I'm going to load one side into the Wicker White, one side into the Tea Berry and just do some blending strokes, not anything major. Like I said, I'm not really into being precise with the loading of the brush. And as I'm painting, I just go back and forth and tip in what side I need and when as I'm painting. All right, so, but the way I'm doing this design, I'm trying to pay attention to what actually would be on the out, the inside out, if we're doing like a folded flower or an open flower, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin. I have the tea berry on the outside, and I'm just doing a basic wiggle stroke. And I'm gonna come around this way and continue. And come around this way and continue. And I'll but one problem you might run into when you're doing wiggle strokes on glass is it can actually make the paint separate. So you can either fill that in or just be careful. It's up to you. But with this design, I'm going to be layering it anyways, so not too concerned with it. do three open and then a few others that are kind of partially open oh why when I come around that corner there it does that and I'm going to swing around here and just kind of go back over this Let's see, we'll just come in here, do another one. I'm going to overlap. And I like to overlap. I think it's makes it more natural. Now, I don't show a lot of movement, meaning like folds in the leaves and petals and stuff like that. It's kind of a little bit harder to do on glass than it is on paper. So that's one reason I don't. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I had put just a mixture of the white and the tea berry together to come up with this. I'm not rinsing out my brush. I'm just going to dip it in and begin. Now these are the items that are actually going to be like partially folded. So that's why I ended up coming up with doing this color first as opposed to when I have an open flower doing that color. I thought, you know, I probably should consider that how it would actually really be layered. And here we go. We come over here, do a larger petal in the center or taller, make it come up like that and then come over here and do that. And then down at the bottom, 
I'm just gonna have some little buds. They're not too little, but that's what, what they are, is their buds, and they're just gonna kind of hang down here. Before you leave, if you would make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I would certainly appreciate that. And before you leave, if you would share this video on your social network with all your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. So now I'm taking the same brush, going back into my white and my tea berry. And then what I'm going to do, actually on this one I can actually set up to go ahead and layer in the next layer on these, which is just reversing from what I did over here with the dark on the outer edges. And you can see I'm just coming up and down, just waving as I go. Wiggle in the brush. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with these. Just come up, come up, and come up. There you go. Very, very simple. And then we'll do the same thing with these flowers and pray that it works out. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to start a little bit in between because I kind of like to cover up where they intersect. And I'm going to do this here. Now, when I come back over it, it's going to cover it up. And you'll see what I mean here. Sometimes I don't always go across those cracks. Or openings, I should say. They're not really cracks. All right. Here we go. And then you can just keep turning your bottle, or you can go different directions. You can go the, all the way around a flower in the same direction or if you choose to go start one way and then go back over it, you're welcome to do that. Alright, so we have that part done. Now the next thing I'm going to do, because I have these, I got to go back into uh, using the dark on the top or the outer layer, because that's my beginning layer on the open flower, if that makes sense. You know, and you can go right over it and do basically the same thing. Or if you want to you know, be adventuresome and come out and put something underneath, like another petal or whatnot, you could do that. I'm just going to keep it following what I initially started. Not really veering from that. All right, so then the, the final stop for these flowers will be going back into the mixture that I did and the white, and I'll do a blending stroke. And, I mean, you can do different co color combinations on this. You don't have to do exactly like what I'm doing, but I'm kind of just tapping, because I want to be careful that I don't pull up the paint that's underneath, because that can easily come up. If it mixes a little bit with the white, that's fine. Just gotta be careful you don't pull up the paint underneath because that can happen very easily when you're doing when you're on gloss and you're painting over the top of something that's already been painted. So you have to be very careful. And I'm just doing just slight little wiggles with the center. You can do a smaller brush. And this is what I mean by going different directions. 
If you want to just go all the way around going the same direction with your brush, you can do that. Or if you want to change it up and do one petal one direction, you can do that too. And also keep in mind, please, that I am a lefty. So how I'm creating, if I go from left to right, you might need to go from right to left to feel comfortable with the designs you're creating. Let's move on to the greenery. So I'm using my fine liner, sticking it into each one of the greens, the happy green and the um, thicket. And then we'll go into putting in our little stems. I'm kind of connecting these fellows together here, or these ladies, whatever you want to call them. And see with this brush, I just, you know, I load both, and then I come back and I just keep going back and forth with the colors. I like to have a mixture of the colors. I think it just kind of gives it interest because not not everything is set in a certain color. You can have variety. I'm just going to pull them down like that. And just do some basic, you know, whenever, whatever you want to do as far as adding these, getting them attached to the stems. I mean, you, on these, you could come clear up, wiggle them a little bit. You can do little ones, just kind of pull into the stem a little bit. Just be creative. And this little guy is kind of up here. And you can even just do some little touches here and there. And I'm sorry, my air conditioning just started again. I try to get these done as quickly as possible to avoid that, but I never seem to make it. Eventually, I'm hoping to maybe find a new location in my house to do videos so I don't have that disruption, but for now, I do. All right, so then I'm going to just do some of my things that I've started doing a lot of on my designs is just pulling out little stems so that I could put additional leaves or designs on. But I, I'm just making, have a little curve in them. And just in random spots, you can do, you know, a lot of them or you can do none. I mean, it's up to you. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is stick my number eight flat brush into the happy green, one side into the thicket, and keep going here. Now this, I'm actually going to do just a wiggle leaf. Now you can do it where you can actually make a V shape and make it look more like a heart in a sense at the top or you can just do them straight down I'll show you what I mean here okay this one's just gonna kind of be a regular but you can do them where they just come like straight down like this without any kind of a um, curva curvature at the top however you want to make them. Alright, so I'm just going to go keep it on maybe more of a down because I'm putting it right up to the flower. I can also do like one side is a little bit more rounded. Bring it up a little bit over the flower. And if you want to create different leaves, you can. I'm just sticking with the same one on, on this as far as the big ones go. And of course, I will throw in some of the regular, just one stroke, simple 
easy, easy, easy um, petals. Because as I mentioned before, I do like a lot of leaves. If you don't, then minimize them. My designs are just meant to be easy for beginner painters. If you're more experienced, just feel free to do your own thing with them. Use them as inspiration. Um, let's see here. I'm going to come up in here. Let me do this with a little bit more of the happy green here. And I can do a lot of wiggles or a little wiggle. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you can choose a different color if you don't even want to do green. But I'm just going to put my brush into the happy green, and that's it. And then I'm going to come in here and start adding, adding to it. And that's why I say I like doing these. Not like there's a little one in here, but okay, let's say, let's pretend it started here. Maybe it here. Okay, yeah, just kind of use your imagination of where you think it might have might have started. And go from there with it. You could do a totally different color though if you wanted to do brown or if you wanted to do um yeah, I even thought about just doing the tea berry. And I thought, nah, I do, it has a lot of tea berry on it, so I'm not going to do that. But you could do a purple flower. So many options. Just, you know, be creative. It's okay. Leaves don't always have to be green. Just like when you're painting something, I never believed that grass had to be green. Use your imagination. Alright, so I'm going to go back to my fine liner, and this is where I like to go, I like this brush, actually I really need a new brush, I've worn this one out, but I come back in and then I pretend, okay, I'm adding my, my stems into the leaves, connecting them to, this, to the actual branch. But I can actually do a little curlies here as far as, you know, just adding some interest to the stems themselves. And I'm going to come here and do this again, come down. I like to have a little bit of the green, the dark and the light combined. Not always just the dark. do more viney stuff and intermix it but I'm just going to stick with just a little bit on this one not a lot I think you get the gist and that's the point So the next thing is to take the different stippler, we're going to do the centers. I'm just going to focus on putting paint into the front part of the brush, which is this because it kind of has a little little angle, just a small angle, but I'm going to just tap this kind of a fun little center. I don't want it to be real full, and then I'm going to come back here and just tap in that and that. And we're done. All right, here you go. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, don't forget to share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one.